Dozens of elderly people living in two assisted living facilities are still displaced today. They were evacuated last night because neither home has had power since Hurricane Irma knocked it out. News 6 investigator Lewis Bolden found out some of those patients were taken to another facility in Altamont Springs. And Lewis, dealing with all this heat can certainly be a dangerous situation. How are they doing right now? It can be dangerous. Lisa, I'm told the evacuees who were brought here to Brookdale and Altamont Springs are doing just fine. But these evacuations uh, have raised a number of questions about assisted living facilities and what is being done to take care of the elderly. They look great. They have a room set up with some tables for them so that, you know, for kind of overflow eating. Debbie Santora's mother lives at Brookdale Assistant Living Facility in Altamont Springs. She says many of those evacuated last night are in much better conditions today. They're all just hanging out and everybody's doing well. They have air conditioning now, so... Um, yeah, everybody's doing really good. Last night, 40 people were asked to leave Green Tree Assisted Living in Orlando, and another 82 people were evacuated from the Bookdale Wakaiwa Springs Assisted Living Facility. Some were transported by bus, family members picked up others. Some of the Brookdale evacuees were brought to this location in Altamont Springs. Very difficult. My stepdad lives in another facility and they did not have power either, and they finally last night got power back. After eight seniors died in Miami, Orange County Fire Rescue is contacting 184 assisted living facilities and nursing homes across the county to make sure seniors are safe. We're told firefighters will assess the status of patients as well as each facility's ability to provide air conditioning, water, and food. Now, we found out one of the facilities that was evacuated last night is currently in violation of state law, and both of those facilities have had problems in the past. I'm going to talk more about that coming up at 5 o'clock. Lisa? Lewis Bolden reporting live for us tonight. Thank you.